this is Andrew with the best tech. In this session, we're going to master how to create a full stack cutting edge job search application. We're going to take UI design into consideration, making the most appealing design for our application. We're going to cover various technologies and the technologies that we're going to cover as follows. We're going to use Firebase not only for our front end, but we are also going to use it for our back end. We are also going to take a look at how we can create the most advanced Node Express server, as well as using MongoDB advanced queries in our back end. And as for our front end, we're going to be using Flutter and we're going to use Provider as our state management. Our application comes with a lot of cool features, including a product oriented Firebase chart. So without wasting any time, let's jump in and take a look at our application and introduce all the features. And introduce the main features of our application. So if you open our application, the first thing that we see is our onboarding screen. So here we can slide and to end our application, we have to press this button, continuous guest. So on our onboarding page, if we try to go back, now we don't have the ability to go back. So we should just enter the application. So here, our application, we have the ability to view the, the jobs without even logging into the application. But if you want to do more inside the application, then we should go ahead and log in. So if we go to our menu here, we have this zoom drawer. So our chart is going to have a chart a chart our app is going to have a chart bookmarks and if you make an application for a job you will see your applications here in the profile so all these pages are logged you cannot see them unless you log in but before we go on to introduce our login page let's go on to our home page in our home page we need to check our page our product like our job page so this is our job page. We have description, the requirements of the job, and you are able to apply here. But since we are not logged in, we can only be prompted to, to the login page. So let's go back. Let's go ahead and test our search. So if we search for something, let's say for a job, we're going to search for something that's related to Java. So here we have a Java backend developer job. So if you click on it, you are taken to the job. Press back is the same. We press back. We are taken back to this page. And here we have the ability to see all the jobs that are the popular jobs that we have in our, in our application. And we, if we click, we can be redirected to this page. So for a logged in user, I have the ability to add this job to, to bookmarks. But for now, you cannot see where to add the job because we are not logged in. So let's go back. Same as here, we can see all the jobs that we have in our recently posted jobs. So let's go ahead and try to log into an account. So if you press login, we're prompted to our login page. So our authentication requires an email and a password. So I have an account already, but before we log in, we have a registration page. So we have to provide a full name, email, and a password. And our password here is obscure. We can either show it or hide it, but we don't want to log in as yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to, to the login screen. So in our login screen, we have to enter the email. If we come to a profile, we are no longer redirected to, to the login page. We are redirected to our profile page. That means we are successfully logged in. And if we take a look at our product page, now we have the ability to add a job to the bookmarks and delete a bookmark. So if we delete a bookmark, this is the message that we receive. So let's take, for example, we add this job to to our bookmarks and we come here we visit our bookmarks so this is the job that we just added to our bookmarks if we come and re remove it 
and we go back, that job is no longer existent. So that means our bookmarks are working fine. So down here, this user cannot apply for the job since he's the one who uploaded the job. So this is an agent account. So our application has three type of users. We have the administrator, we have an agent, and we have a user, like a regular user. So for an agent, they can only edit the job they've uploaded. So if they press edit, they're taken to this page where they can edit the job and re-upload the job. So here we have the switcher. Here we can choose from a choice chip. Let's go back. So if it is an agent, we go to our profile and in our profile here, an agent has the ability to upload a job. If you are to upload a job, then you can enter the information of the job that you want to upload and then you can press upload. Then the job will be sent to our backend. And here we have agent information. This part only appears if a person is an agent. And if you want to edit this part, you can click on edit. This is the information related to the agent. So let's press back. And here, right on top, we have the ability to add skills. To add skills. For example, we want to add one more skill to this list. We can just press this, this button and the text field appears here. So let's just write anything random and we add the job, we add the skill. So this is the skill that we have here. If we long press on the skill, we have an icon here to delete the skill. So if we delete, then the skill should be, should be gone. So we should refresh the page a little. So the skill is gone. So right now, let's go ahead and introduce the differences in profiles. So we have one profile for agent and the other profile for a regular user. So for an agent, we have agent information and the agent can be able to upload a job, but the other user can only apply to become an agent. And if he is verified that, okay, this particular person is now an agent, that's when they will get a profile, which is the same as the agents. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead, visit a, a job. So we have this job right here and we want to apply for the job. So if we press apply, we are taken to, to the chat. So this is our chat list. This is the agent that we are talking to on this particular job. And right on top, we have agencies and companies. So we'll get a recommendation, we'll get recommendations, random recommendations each and every time that we open this page, we'll get a different set. So here we have church here at first. So if we go to bookmarks, come back to charts, it should give us a, a random. So everything is changing here. The last one is Dr. Dre and the first one is church you. So if we refresh this page again then we should get a different order it's not supposed to be the order but i have a few a few agents in my back and that's why we can see the same but if we have more then you get seven different agents each and every time a person opens a page so let's take for example dr dre here if we click on dr dre we'll see the information that is related to Dr. Dress Agency, the name, the address, and their working hours, and the jobs they have uploaded to this application. So let's go back. Now we want to focus on our chart. We have the name of the person that we're chatting to, the time the message was sent, and here we have an opener. Okay, so if we click in here, our status is online, and we say it's a product oriented chart. That means we are not opening a chart with a person, but we are opening a chart based on a particular product. And for this instance, our product is a job. 
so that's our product so here we can set a message like hello so before we send let's come here open our chart so this is what we can see so if i send this message here it's going to be updated so this message has been sent like at 15:24. that's the same time here we want to respond to the message so if we start typing here we'll get a typing status on the other user and if we send this message this is the message that we can see here and the profile picture that we can see belongs to the to this user to the agent okay so one other thing here we have a count of one a count of one message and if i click here open the chart the count is always going to remain one but if the other user who we send the message to clicks then the count becomes zero or it disappears that means the user has read the message so let's just type something random send we have our message so this is how our chart works after this we need to go ahead each and every time that we open or we apply for a job that job is sent to our backend and we can see it in our applications so if we open we've applied for this job okay this is the job that we applied for we can view the job like now we have the details 